All right, guys. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only, only heroes everyone can use. Run. So, where are we at? I don't know. Let's look. All right. So, we have 10 mystery shards because we've been blowing through them. 473 ancient shards. We just got another void today from Clan Boss by clicking a button and getting a chest. And we have 29 sacreds. We're doing pretty good. We're almost halfway there. Actually, we are halfway, basically, to Rian. So we're going to push that through. Uh, Cleo, we just got to wait a couple of weeks, I think two weeks, something like that, half a week, one and a half weeks, and we will have Cleo. So she'll be the next one on our list. Mithrala, we have 60 shards. So yeah, whatever. It's going to take a while. And then that's basically it. That's where we're at on those fusions. We're still kind of pushing through on Raisin. Got a little bit of work done here, but not much. I don't think there's anything to really talk about there. We'll see how it goes. So... What have we been working on? What have we been doing? We have been doing a lot of things. Not really. We've been leveling heroes and getting masteries. So where we're at right now is we got a couple more books in our boy Yakarl. So right now we need two, four, five more books on him, and then he'll be ready to go and done, and we'll be able to do a uh, a little book. I'm uh, not book. We can do a little video on him eventually. Uh, we are going to be doing probably a champion spotlight on Yaga soon. We have all his skills leveled we have his masteries done and we have his artifacts all leveled 16 so he's ready to go for another for a champion spotlight uh as far as templar he's done i think we did him a while ago we haven't finished executioner yet we're going to work on him next i've been kind of like slacking on him a little bit uh we did end up finishing templar so i know that was done before but he's all done masteries everything got him settled and then we got taintix we've leveled and got her some gear not maxed yet. We're just working on her, and we've got her masteries almost done. So we're going to finish her and then move into Executioner because I wanted to do a login champion video that has all of the login heroes, and Taintix was literally the last one after Yaga. So now we have every single one of them six star, and I just got to finish building her, and then we'll be done. So we're going to get her to six. So far, she's not terrible. She's just not like she's good for protection. She helps out a little bit there, but it's not like it's anything amazing that I need to worry about. Right now, I need to get a couple four stars so I can fill in my uh, sparring pit again because I used them to get her to six star. We do have a five star chicken, I believe. So yeah, we, we're a little bit ahead on the next six star. I just don't know who I'm going to do yet. I uh, haven't decided. I know I really want to finish the campaign heroes also. So that's something we want to look at, look forward to also. Now we did put her in a healing bonus set and we are doing a lot of things on her that are a little weird like we're kind of mixing her up a little and i'm doing some stuff for healing and counterattacking and doing stuff like that i want her to be more of a tank and a healer essentially i want to see how she does and if because so far i mean every time she hits i think if, if she crits we got to get her some crit rate i'm down a little bit but every time she crits she basically heals everyone so yeah i mean it might work out and she also reduces the damage everyone takes from AOE attacks and stuff, so that helps as well. Uh, total stats, we've got some HP on her. We're going to try to get her defense up a little bit higher and her HP up higher, because her HP is what defines her heal, which is very nice. Her crit rate is crap. Crit damage, I don't really care about so much, but yeah, that's basically where we're at. Speed is 175. She's got, she doesn't have all of her stuff leveled yet, so once we get those, we'll be good. We did get a few items from that stupid path of vengeance thing we didn't really get anything special uh, i was focusing on masteries while it was going on so i didn't really care i got some stuff we did get some accessories which actually i wanted to see if i have any that i can do to two star that are really good because i know i had a few pieces that were nice this one's nice so we could ascend this one i think maybe right oh no we need 80 of the regular one but then we'll be able to do the second one i think so that's fine Either way, we got 60 of these, so that's good. I can do another ascension. Hopefully, it's enough to get us through it. Uh, what's this one? Can we ascend this? Because this is actually kind of cool. Yeah, ascend. Oh, we can't. Oh, it's because it's an accessory. I should probably save this for a thing, but for a quest. But, you know, we're going to get it anyway. Uh, 30 of those. We're going to get some more resistance on her because resistance is king. Uh, 45, sure. We're going to get all of this. So there we go. We've got a five-star... Four stars, sorry. Ascended with some 16 resist, so that's nice. We got a little more power on her. Anything that'll make her resist things is good for me, and I'm happy. I know it's a five star, and you shouldn't have wasted on that, but I did, because why not? Um, yeah, because it doesn't really matter, to be honest. That resist on her is actually worth it. <laughs> it's, it's worth the extra 10 resist. Uh, but yeah, that's basically where we're at. We did build a couple of other heroes. We, did, we have to work on Lich, so he's another six star we got to get. I did max 
Where is he? Is he in here? Is he in here? There's a uh, headhunter. We got to level 50. So he's looking pretty good. Here we go. Headhunter. He's looking pretty good. We've got him in some reasonable gear. It's poison. I don't know why I chose it. I just did. The stats worked really well for him. But yeah, he's actually hits pretty freaking hard. So we're going to try him out and see how he does. I think he's going to be pretty good. He may even be my next six star, but I, I need to focus on some other heroes first. We'll see how it goes. He's definitely worth it, but it is what it is. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. As far as everything else, I think we finished most of our quests for today. I don't think there's anything in here worth buying. Nope, there's him, but whatever. It is what it is. No, nope, nope, nope. We're not awakening. Uh, quests. I think we finished everything. Monthly is done. Weekly is good. Advanced. We have to fight in the tag team. So we are going to go do that real quick. So we'll refresh this because we have some crap teams. We're going to go in here and just kill them. Now, this is why I said tag team is, is great because you can just go in there and wipe it like the floor with them if you just keep a crappy defense. It works really well. You can kill these fights in like three seconds. Look at that. Dead. Not three seconds. That was seven seconds flat. If you like things that are flat, I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know your life. It's funny because um, tag team arenas become not so bad to me anymore. Like I know once we have once we unlock Raisin and we have to move forward in the quest, I'm gonna hate it again. But right now it's a it's fun. Like I don't have a problem with it. I I fight just enough times to get what I need for the day. And I don't really move up. We did get our rewards today. So I definitely got some new gear, which I haven't checked out yet. But we'll see how it goes. Most of the fights right now, as soon as you start breaking into tier two and three, you're going to start fighting teams that are a lot more annoying than you do in tier one and two. Because even tier two can have some annoying fights. And I do lose once in a while. It'll usually be a one-off fight. Very rarely do I get a complete defeat. But I will get, I will get losses. There's also an arena, I think, event going on right now. Look at these guys being jerks. There you go. Yeah. Tormund the jerk bag. This would be a good fight to have my uh, Dark Alhane. But unfortunately, no. No, we don't have it. And there we go. We've got Unkillable. Hopefully she gets provoked. I think she does speed down first. So actually, oh, good. She froze. Nice. Perfect. But now they're going to decrease turn meter over and over again. So this might be a problem. Let's see. I'm going to leave it on auto for a sec. All right. You know, we're going to take it off auto. Oh, please don't do it. Please don't do it. This is the first time I'm like hoping her accuracy doesn't work. We're good there. Oh, she's going to she's going to work. Say two. That's the worst one. That could be a problem. Uh, we're not going to speed up. We're just going to try and keep freezing her. All right. So now he can't reduce turn meter. So really, the only one who's a problem is is uh is Visix. This is where the problem comes in when you're like putting things on auto all the time. Stuff like this, you don't have someone who can remove debuffs. You could literally this fight could literally go on forever because they're just going to keep using the the decreased turn meter. Oh, of course, you got an extra turn. Thank you. Good. Bye. <laughs> all that for one thing. Unkillable should go away regardless. It's annoying. Oh, look at that. One hit. One hit wonder. Um, Who else is in here? Let's see. Yeah, sure. Why not? They're stronger heroes, but it'll be fun. I can't wait because after we do this video, I'm going to get breakfast. And I'm super hungry. Super, super duper hungry, actually. I, I don't even... I should have gone to eat before I did this video, but I was like, you know what? I want to finish this one up and get it done before we go eat. Because I have a nice omelet that's just waiting for me to eat. There's a nice little deli right down the road. Easy, breezy, beautiful omelet girl. I I, I kind of want to see her. I just want to try, I should figure out a way, I should start a new account and just try out other heroes. Problem is, it would take me forever to get to the point that I'm at now, so I don't think it'd be worth it, to be honest. I think this, I think this channel, the way it is, is the way I want it, so as much as I would love to use a seer, I could always log into one of my old, my old accounts if I wanted to, and show some old stuff. I'm actually considering doing, starting a new account, not to, to actually play it, but like to redo my tutorial series a bit. And actually, like, run through the first week or two 
and have that up as a series because the only thing is I need a lot of time to do it because I can't just do that series in like an hour. I would have to break it up into numerous videos and it would probably be like a week or two long thing that I would have to do. So it's a little bit rough. We'll see how it goes. Did I get the, oh, I got the advanced quest. We're not going to, we're not going to do this. Here we go. All right. I think we did Doom Tower already today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we finished everything. I just wanted to get all the energy ready to go. So we did finish the Doom Tower thing up to here. I think Yeah, we have six rooms. So we there's one that we can't beat. I think it's the, once again, it's freaking, yeah, voids. So I really do need to get some void rare. I mean, yes, the, my rare voids. I may have to just form another two heroes, like build another two repeats, but I don't want to do that yet. So it's not that important. We'll just miss the room. I don't care so much. Clan boss, we are moving forward, I think. We're not doing too great with it. Uh, I think we have about 20 minutes, seven minutes before it opens up. I don't know. I might do it on stream. I don't really know. Um, and then Faction Wars, we got a couple more stars here, I think. We're at 669. We can't do much in Barbarian, so that's whatever. We've got, what do we got? Dwarves open. I honestly don't even know. I haven't played Dwarf in a while. I don't even know who I have, to be honest. Let's look. Let's look. Let's see where we're at in Faction Wars. Hide this. All right, so we've got a bunch of 50s. We've got two other 50s here that could do some damage. This is a tough one. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Started up. Oh, is this one that I've already beat, or is this one that's got one star? This one has one star, right? All right, so yeah, we're going to move ahead. We're going to go here. There we go. I mean, whatever. What's the worst that happens? We lose, right? I feel like they might be able to win. I got to get a Veer to six star, because I feel like he's going to be a big help in here. And we got to get Madman to six star. I think once we get those two to six star, because right now all my damage dealers and everyone are 50. So there's no real there's no real damage dealer in here right now, see? They're just going to keep getting whacked, unfortunately. A Veer could be a big help, and I think Madman would be awesome to have at level 60. So we do need to start getting some dwarves up in here, because as much as I love my boy, Master Butcher, he's not a damage dealer that can really... He's more of a protector, so he's not going to really do much in here. And we are pushing into, you know, the fourth, what is that, the second boss. And that's when level six, having at least one or two level 60s really starts to help because you can push through the waves and beat the boss pretty quickly. All right, this is a problem. Hold on. We need to kill. We need to kill this dude. Oh, nice. Uh, what does this do? Grants an extra turn. I like that. Extra turn, and then we're going to smack this guy. Oh, he almost died. Don't get your turn. Don't get your turn. He's going to get a turn, isn't he? He's going to make somebody. He's going to make Grinner unkillable. Oh, he's going to make himself unkillable. Even worse. This is where this is where things start to get irritating. All right, we got to take care of Grinner then. All right, so now we got to make sure that someone else has lower HP than him, I guess. So hopefully they heal him. All right, there we go. So now we got to essentially get this chick down to like, oh, we killed him. That's not good. All right, so I guess she's low. Um, let's revoke. That might work, actually. I think that might work better. Because now he will go... Now, even if he tries to attack, he's going to attack my guy. So that's good. There we go. Now we can kill him. Because he's provoked. And this is where Master Butcher came in handy, see? But is it enough? Oh, I should have healed. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. I should have done some healing. Now that Cudgler or whatever his name is going to die, probably. Oh, we got to provoke. Nice. Even better. Heal. There we go. Boom, boom. Smack, smack. Dwarves are fun. Okay, this fight. I know why this fight sucks. All right, so let's try to get a provoke on him. Nope. No, no, no. We'll do this. Get some attack down. Now, there's a lot of problems here. We want to kill these reflect damage guys, which isn't going to happen, I guess. Uh, we'll do that counterattack and then try to kill this guy. Come on, kill him. 
see how weak these guys are? Like my got my team. This is why there's a problem. I don't think we're beating this fight, by the way. I have very little faith that we're going to win this fight. Uh, we're going to provoke this guy. Um, it's already starting. So it looks like progression is going to be a no go here. Yeah, this is going to this is going poorly. We are definitely going to need some more attack. We need more cowbell in this fight. Looks like Madman is about to go down. Good news is if if my guy dies, he's going to revive someone, which I don't know if it's really going to help because he's the strongest one. So really, him dying is the worst thing that could happen. I should have provoked. Do we have enough for it? No. Oh, I should have done the all attack down. Damn it. Derbert. Yeah, we're definitely dead. I don't know why I'm even wasting my time with this at this point. All right, we're going to provoke you. For no reason other than we're going to die anyway. That's why I did that. I knew I was going to get killed, but it didn't matter. Look at that. Even with the heel. Drop like a fly. All right, this is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Forget this. Forget this. Let's get out of there. All right, so that's where we're at on dwarves. I don't really need to do that right now. Um, so we needed some level 60s there. I have a feeling that's what's going to end up happening. Uh, Faction Wars were good. Dungeons, we need to start moving forward, I believe, on. So we've gotten through Spider's Den. I haven't messed with hard mode yet. Um, so we're there. Dragon, we're on hard mode now. So really, it's Ice Golem and Fire Knight. Now, I don't know. Fire Knight took a while. I don't even remember who we used, to be honest. Is this the team we used? Huh. I think we're going to have to figure something out here. So we've got blue. So red is better. Now, he's good for this. I think we're going to need... All right, so we're, we're going to need to take her out and bring in Sill. Huh. All right, so I think... I feel like we had a problem with her. Because she doesn't have a three hitter. So we got to get her out. So I think we're going to bring her in. Now, what is she? Is she faction crypts? Yeah, she's only. <sighs> How is a legendary defense in only faction crypts? All right, so this could be a good team. Actually, I think we took her out and brought him in. And I think defense is a waste because we want to do more damage. Let's try this and see what happens. Because we have a lot of turn meter manipulation in this team. The only problem is, is for the is the three hitter, I think, was the issue for oh my god, what's her name? Crimson Slayer. She has a three hit on her A1. So that could be a big deal here. The waves are a big problem here, also. So we, we can't die during the waves. And I don't know if Crimson Slayer is gonna be good enough to get us through that, which is really where we're going to start seeing some issues. So the waves, I think, is really going to be my problem here. We have enough stuns and freezes and slows and all that other fun stuff to kind of get through it. Hopefully we can. We're not. It looks like we're not doing too much damage here. Even though I put him in the lead as attack, we have, I think everybody here is defense, basically, except for him. So really, we're only increasing his stats at this point. But it looks like no one's really getting any attacks, which is a good thing. All right, so we're winning. He's got an unkillable, which is good. I don't know if they're going to be able to do this on auto the, for the boss. That's the only thing. Because I feel like they're going to do a lot of dumb stuff to to make this fail. So we may have to turn it off, turn off auto once we get to the boss. But hey, I don't care. Like I said, if we win, we win. I just need an auto team for 25. I think, to beat the, the quests. So we don't really matter at this point. We just want to get through it. So I may just stop it at the boss fight anyway, because there's no reason to do this on auto. But this is why the fights are going to take so long, because the freaking waves. They make these waves so hard for zero reason. It's like, hey, how do we add extra minutes onto your day? So if you have Seer, and you're doing this, yeah, just throw a bunch of debuffs on everybody and then light them up. 
problem, or was it buffs? I forgot what she uses, buffs or debuffs, one of the two. Either one, bring in whatever that is that you need, and you can wipe the wipe the waves in one attack. So yeah, there's that. And I think it's Hell Freak that resets cooldowns. I don't remember. It might be Hell Freak. I don't remember which one it was. I think it's Hell Freak. But you can reset all your cooldowns, and then you blast them again with uh, Seer. So yeah, if you have Seer, good luck to you. If you don't have Seer, well, guess what? I'm living that life. I'm living the non-Seer life, where I have to wait three minutes just to get to a boss that I may or may not beat. <laughs> but I usually have a different team here. I usually have like a defense down and all those other things, but we don't have that, and we need heroes that can break through the boss. So... Yeah, unfortunately, this is what it is. I, I mean, I have to use a group of heroes that don't do well here. Now, there's probably a few other heroes that I have that I could bring in here. I mean, honestly, I may even consider bringing Crimson Slayer in here. <laughs> I'm punching the mic. I, I, I would consider bringing Crimson Slayer in here just for the three hits. And it might be something that we need. But if we can get the shield down, I feel like we just don't auto. And we just keep using turn meter down with... Visix. I think we're going to be good. We might be able to keep it where the boss doesn't get attacks. But I would have to turn, like I said, I have to turn off things for the last the last round. So I'd have to really think hard on the uh, on the AI for this fight if I was going to do it auto. But we'll see. You never know. Even if we beat one level today, I'm happy. You know, progression, baby, progression. That's how progression works. It doesn't matter if it's one level, two levels, or like the spider the other time where we went through three areas. I don't care. I don't care. If we beat one level, that's great. We're, we're moved ahead, right? And that's all that matters. Because I've been so focused on heroes and building that I've been sidetracked a lot. Because I really just want my heroes built. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so we got 12. Uh, we need two hits. Ice is good. All right, just attack normally. Oh, she doesn't have her stun. I was going to say it's two hits that way. All right, we're only using A1 on this. If we can get him... Here we go. There we go. Let's see what this does. Nice. Let's see if we can get him there, then we can probably do this. All right, so to increase turn meters is working. So now we have the turn meter down enough, but we can hopefully keep getting decreased turn meter with her. Shoot, I should have I should have done speed up. So now we've got this. See, so if she does the decrease turn meter, he does decrease turn meter if he lands it. Um he only does decrease turn meter with this big with this big one. This I think I don't think this does anything special. Let me just see. Yeah, it doesn't reduce special. All right, we're gonna speed everyone up. And now we're gonna just keep doing decrease turn meter. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully it's enough. Um we don't need anything else. Literally, just decrease tur uh, turn meter. It's going to be slow moving, buddies. I think we could conceivably just A1 ourselves to death until he gets this skill. See? And then we just keep A1ing. And then sometimes put speed up. Honestly, it could be slow, but I feel like we could conceivably just do this all the way through to hard mode. So there's that. Because if they keep if they keep doing the turn meter reduction, we're fine. Because he's going to take it all the way down. So let's see if we can get a big hit here. There we go. At least we get a little damage there. I just don't want to lose the turn meter by doing that kind of stuff. I don't feel like we will because of that's uh, because of uh your Carl. I feel like we should be fine. Luckily we only got to beat it once, right? <laughs> One time is more than enough. And then your Carl comes in and boom again. Look at that. Back to zero, all right? That's how we're going to run this. I just don't know how to set this up on auto. I can actually know it would be everybody would have an, a priority for one for their A1, right? For this, for the round three at least. And then 
you would make uh Carl's priority would be that turn meter manipulation. You would turn everything off on everyone else, basically. That's it. Just A1 it because literally all the A1s are where we're gonna get the shield down anyway, so that works out. I mean, speed up might not even be needed for this fight. Because I don't know if that would screw things up if he does speed up to get the shield out. I don't know. We'd have to see. I'd have to actually watch it in, in action. But this is going to be a long-ass fight, apparently. I mean, we're already at seven. I mean, granted, I'm bullshitting and I'm being slow, but yeah. It's going to be a long fight. But we'll get through it. I'm not worried. I should have done speed up there. I should have done speed up there, too. <laughs> I had two chances to do it. All right, now we're going to reduce turn meter again. And reduce turn meter. There we go. Now he can do this skill. Wow. 15k. Thanks, man. All right, let's get everyone fast again. Gotta go fast. And then we'll just click our way to click our way to victory. This is probably gonna be one of the easiest fire night wins. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching this. I'm like, it's going to take a while, but I'm like, you know what? It's a win, right? Like, who cares? I think we just, I think we just stumbled upon a, uh, an amazing team for people who don't have any defense and die and just want to kill things and just want to get through fire nights at stage 25. Yeah. Well, I think we found you a team here, guys. It's not an effective team in the sense that you're going to, you know, you're not going to farm with this team, but Hey, we can win. And that's what matters, right? I want you guys to win. Your Carl has really started to like become one of my favorite heroes, by the way. Like he is essentially taking over for uh what the hell's her name? Soul Bond, because of that one hit that he's got that just reduces turn meter, like sucks it dry. I love it. I should have done the other hit on that. Damn. I'm gonna try and do this faster. Gotta go. This guy didn't have a chance, man. At least we now know that we can win this fight without the boss taking a turn for that clan thing. But I, I like I said, I'm going to mess with the auto on it. I want to see how it goes. I should probably do the other thing, but there we go. We got a nice 60k damage. That's that's fine. She'll take some... There we go. Turn meter. And I think he gets his skill now. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. To be honest, I don't even know if... I don't even think that Armager would be necessary for this fight, to be honest. We could probably do this without him. Possibly. I don't know. That that start might have been hard. If we get someone who can do like some a little bit more damage or do poisons or something, that, no, poison's not going to matter because he's not getting a turn. So really, we just need a solid damage dealer. So maybe Soul Bond would be good for that because she's a good single target. Might be an idea. Something to think about. Bring her in here and just you know kind of smack him up a little bit. Or someone who's got decreased defense. Something that'll speed the fight up a little bit more to get us through this quicker. But yeah, at least we know we have a team that can get through it. So that's good. I may end up messing with this later on today just to kind of see what how this would work on auto. Because there's no way I would want to sit here and watch a 12-minute fight. But I feel like what we got? We got blue and green, right? He's not the right affinity. And the funny thing is, is do we even need Apothecary at that point? Hmm. Like we could bring somebody else who increases speed, maybe who does more damage. That's a possibility. But he has that three hitter on his A1, which is, it's kind of hard to take that away. Oh, did we just miss? I think the accuracy thing is where we might have an issue if something goes wrong. I love 11 minute fights. They're fun. See, screw Fire Knight. I should have done the other attack, damn it. Damn it. Uh, okay, kill you. We're almost there. All right, let's see. Block revive, baby. Laid to rest. All right, so that's 22 down. Not terrible. I think that was better than my last one. We did 18 minutes on... Yeah, stage 21 was 18 minutes, so that's bad. <laughs> so we're improving. That's good. And it only took us 286 turns, so that's fun. All right, let's see. Let's try it again. Sure, why not? 
What's the worst that happens, right? Auto. Oh, great. Got a bunch of these jerks that do unkillable. That's not good. We do not like unkillable stuff. But once again, this team's good in that sense. They can just provoke, freeze, and kick their asses. Problem solved. I actually started playing Lords Mobile. It's funny. It's like a really dumb. What is it? What do they call those? The, the like the town building games. And funny enough, I actually played the game for about two years. I think at one point I was uh I was playing it, and I had spent money on the game. It was, we're, we're talking a while ago, like eight, nine years ago, and. It was fun. It was a fun game. I did spend money on my main account, and then I started some free play accounts, and I had fun, way more fun just doing it free to play. So I did that, and now I just started playing again because I haven't played in a while. And I'm like, I missed that game, so I'm playing it, and it's 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 still fun. Yeah, it's a money game if you if you want to really get far, but you can do it. You can do it free to play if you're just enjoying it. You're probably gonna get your ass handed to you a lot of times because the other people will just farm you, but. If you just want to start the game and play for like a couple weeks just to kind of get the itch out, it's actually not bad. And the hero building is actually fun, like trying to beat the levels. So you could just focus on that and not worry too much about your army, except for whatever quests you need to beat. These two-minute waves are killing me right now. But at least that guy didn't get the unkillable. So that's good. We have a very good set of heroes that have a lot of crowd control in here. So you're actually getting to see like what crowd control can really do for you. Like We are not strong enough to beat these guys if we didn't have that. Like If this was just a team of heroes that were like nukers and stuff, yeah, we, we would be dead already. Luckily, we do have Revive to get us through if somebody does get, like, if they get a lucky shot on your Carl, because his defense is really low. I think for the next fight, we may consider bringing someone else besides uh, Armager. We'll see how that goes. I just don't know who I would bring, other than if it's the red one, I think bringing. I think bringing Soul Bomb would be the best option. Just because she can do the best single target damage. Because we're not, dots aren't going to do crap for us. So otherwise, I, you know, I would bring someone like Kale or like Frozen Banshee or someone like that. Like Grave Chill could work for a defense down. I don't know, because like I said, the defense down would help a lot in getting the damage down, but it also might help on the waves to make these waves quicker. So like we could replace him with like War Maiden, maybe. She has a double attack, I think, when she hits with crit. And she has defense down, so that helps. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it. Because like I said, I don't think I don't think he's necessary. Oh. I just don't know how necessary he is. Let's put it that way. It's great for the team if it works. Like I'm actually I'm think I'm trying I'm in deep thought thinking about what I can do and what heroes I have that can I could replace him with. Because he was a little more necessary before because Soul Bomb would miss, uh Crimson Slayer would miss. And they also had high turns on high, it was a high turn on their um on their skill. So you'd be waiting like what, like four or five turns before they could do it again. So you needed Armager to kind of get you through it. All right, no, we're just going to do the A1 because we want the shield down quickly. Same thing as before. Oh, nice. Now we have the stun. So that's two hits. And then hopefully he gets a turn. Yep. So he gets a turn. And then once again, we take down the turn meter right off the bat. His speed is already low, so that's nice. And then just boom, there you go. Second 
verse, same as the first. It's funny that this is like going to work for every single one. <laughs> yeah, really, it's just the time that I want to work on. As I don't, it's obvious that this works. It's just whether or not we can do it faster. Because I really don't want to do 10-minute fights. But if it gets us through it, you know, and you guys get to see that this is a great team, then, hey, this team is, it works. You know? It only took 10 months to get it, right? <laughs> well, really, let's go through it. You need six months for Sill. You need however many months you need for your Carl, depending on if you start with him or not. Uh, it took me about nine or 10 months to get him. Uh, armor is easy from the beginning. Apothecary is easy if, as long as you pull them. And V6 is nine months. So, yeah, nine months of fun. All right, speed up. Take him down. I'm just glad that this works. It's really what I'm happy about. And he's going to do more damage, actually, Armager. I have hiccups. So really, he might be fine keeping because his his skill is going to keep doing more damage. See, now I'm curious. I just want to see. We're going to try something. I'm going to put it on auto and see wh what they do. I'm going to see if it matters. Because he's going to keep doing that. So if Armager is going to keep reducing turn meter and doing lid to rest when the turn meter is low, it might be okay. Because really, we just... it's it's Visix is, is the wild card because she's doing those dumb things. We just need the turn meter to be down far enough because she keeps doing the ally protect and all that other crap. So we're going to turn that off the next fight. And then just put it on auto and see if we can turn it off. Yeah, we'll just turn it off completely. All of her skills for round three. Because they don't need them. I forget that Armager gets better with the higher levels, so he's going to do more and more damage every time, which is good. See? We're learning new things. Even though I already knew it, we're, we're, we're learning it in action. And at least I don't have to click all the time. I can just leave it on auto and babble about how much this is going to be a long freaking fight. I love it. I'm super I'm super excited about it. I um Oh yeah, I was there we go. Sorry. Um this will be cool if we can get through this today because honestly like then we only have Ice Golem and Ice Golem's going to be a pain in the ass. I got to do some some heavy, heavy thinking on that one because there's a lot of damage that a lot of damage output. That fight is more about me dying. This one's more about keeping his turn meter down. As long as we can do that, then it don't really matter what this guy does, you know? Like, if he doesn't get a turn, then I don't care. <laughs> like, if this is going to be the fights from here till 25, then yeah, really the waves are the hardest part. The boss is the easy part. All right, see, so now he's getting closer to the end. We got to worry about it, see? All right, but now she's going to do some turn meter reduction. All right, and he got it back down. So there you go. So this is like, this seems to be a little more dangerous. I don't know. If, I, I feel like if they missed a couple of turn meters, this wouldn't work. So yeah, I just got to turn her off, and I think it's fine. Because we don't need her to do any ally protect. We don't need her to do any speed down, literally nothing. We don't need her to do anything. Because that all pops in in the beginning. There you go. He's dead. And we did it quicker that time because I didn't do a bunch of clicking. All right. Stage collect. <laughs> Stage collect. All right. Here we go. So now we're in red. So this is where the blues are going to have more trouble. He should still be fine. She should still be fine. So team setup. We're going to do Fire Knight. Hmm. <clears throat> We'll do, what are we going to do? Fire Knight. You know, we'll just put it in Fire Knight 20. Because Fire Knight 20 is already screwed up. I can go back and watch it, my videos, if I need to. So we're going to do this. Get rid of these guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. No, cancel. All right, so we're going to add 
your Carl as the lead. Take her out. One, two, where the hell is he? Three. And who was the last one? Oh, yeah, Armager. I feel like he's just going to keep getting better, especially now that he's the right affinity. So we're going to leave him on auto. We're going to leave her. We're going to do on round three. All right, we're going to remove all this crap. Don't use. All right. So that's her. Save this. All right. Let's go back in. Fire Knight. So now we've got your Carl's fine. He doesn't really need, actually, it doesn't matter. Visix. I think on stage three, we want to limit his attack so he's always using this. Um, so in round three, this is his priority. So this is his first choice. Regardless, that's the only thing that matters, honestly. The other two don't matter if he does two different attacks. Um, this, I think we might want to consider just taking this off completely. Don't use it. The reason I'm saying that is because we, this is a two-hitter for his A1, so if for some reason the shield goes down, he's always going to do two hits or this, you know? So rather than wasting Glaciate, that's like just, it's just an extra turn he doesn't need to do. So these two would probably be fine. Round one, round two, he can live his own life. Uh, same thing for her. Round one, round two, and then live your own life. But for stage three, we want to save that. And then I th think that Sil should be fine where she is. Apothecary is fine where he is. Um, because he's going to need the heal. But in stage the third round, I don't think we need it because we want to keep it down. So we don't need the heal, right? So we'll just get more damage. So don't use. And boon of speed is fine, right? Hmm. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. We'll see how it goes. Whatever. What's the worst that happens? We die, right? And then he's fine. So we're going to save this, close, and now we're going to start, and now see if it works. I'm interested. I'm curious if this is a good choice. Hey, if it works, it works, right? What is this? We're on 24 now or 23? I don't remember. I wasn't looking. 22, 23, 24. Who knows? What happens if we pause it? Does it tell you? It does not. Continue. <laughs> I was like, does that work? Really? Let's see if this is going to be the auto team that gets us through. Honestly, Fire Knight hard mode. I don't know if I have enough freeze heroes. Well, actually, I have. We have your Carl, who does freeze. Um, I think I have. See that? What's his name? The freeze. That guy, Gnarl, not Gnarl, Gnarl, uh Graybeard. I think he does freeze, and he takes freezes, so that's good. So we might have some options there for Fire Knight. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if we can get down the shield, though. That's like, what, 20-something, 20 20-something 20 plus shields or something? We'll get through this. I'm not worried. I have faith in us. I have faith in this team that we have built. And Armager's in it. So really, you can't go wrong with that, right? If you got Armager, then life is good. Still in round one on two minutes. These are going to be long ass fights, so I hope you're I hope you're uh, buckled up because this is uh, going to be a long ride. We'll see. Maybe I mean I I feel like if I decided to not do this on on the video, if I was like, all right, so this works, we'll beat it, and I just stopped because the video was going long. I feel like everyone would get mad at me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I'll just show you later. Like, no, we want to see it happen because that's how it goes. But then it makes the video really long. So it is what it is. I don't care if the video is long because I have to do this anyway. So if I sit here and do this and stare at the screen while I talk to you guys while I do it, it's really no different than if I just do this on my own. But a three minute turn is rough. Like, that was, a, these guys are getting some serious HP at this point. And we're also against the red, the red squad. 
if you've been watching Nick Cannon a lot, which I have. I don't know why Wall and Out is stupid funny. I don't know why I have to I I have to watch it. I like to watch all the sick burns on YouTube. The Red Squad. They change the squads all the time. It's like Gold Squad, Platinum Squad, Red Squad, Black Squad, Green Squad. Suicide Squad. There's all kinds of squads in there. I forgot that I have water. Nice. Yeah, I have to get honey for my tea, so unfortunately there will be no tea on this video. I know you guys are upset about it. You can you can write my you can send a note to my people and tell them you're disappointed highly. Yum, yum, yum. And I turned my phone off because it kept ringing. Some some weirdos keep calling me. I don't know who they are, though. I'll just put this on auto for the end of the fight. I'm like, all right, I'll be back, guys. <laughs> the last fight's going to take like 30 minutes. I'll be like, all right, let it run for a little while. See how it goes. After this, we're not going to need a progression video for a while because this is going to be the longest progression video ever. It's just going to be nonstop. Nonstop fire night all day, every day. I don't know. Maybe I'll do this in a two-parter. Let me see. I, I don't remember if this is 24. If this is 24 and we're just going into 25, then I feel like that's fine. We'll just run 25 and call it a day. But this is also our weakest affinity, I think, for this. Everyone, everyone else is... For some reason, red always sucks. Well, not for some reason. I know what the reason is. I'm just saying, red always sucks. You think this is a viable strategy? Like, hey, man, you can uh, totally farm Fire Knight 25, but it'll take you 76 minutes to do it. <laughs> Just the longest fight ever. All right, let's see if we're about to find out if my setup works. Really just comes down to that first that first wave. Because I feel like if we get hit, it might be rough. If, if the shield doesn't go down that first round, it could be rough. Okay, good. He got another attack in, which is good. Normally, I would want to set that up so where he gets his main attack. Like here, that could screw everything up. See, that boost of speed thing was bad. There we go. All right, so they got in. Now it's just whether or not they can hold it. So now she's always going to do this. So that's good. Say turn meter reduction. And then he's going to do that. And there we go. Back to normal. So we figured it out. We got the auto going. Now it's just a matter of whether they can hold it. Because this is when, at this point, it's this is an accuracy game. Like it's just, do they have enough accuracy to constantly do the decreasing turn meter to keep the boss from fighting? That's really it. Because if he gets a turn, we got a problem, you know? And it looks like Armager is slowly becoming more useful. I don't know if he's necessary, but it's definitely close. Like, we could, if, if there's a lot of people missing, if anyone misses, Armager becomes a little more necessary. If he doesn't miss, if no one misses, then, yeah, then the Armager would be less necessary. But right now, I don't know. I, I can't, I, I would say he's probably necessary because this guy's getting faster with each run. And Sill's too she's too unreliable to know when she's going to decrease the turn meter or not. Alright, I want to see if he does his other attack when the when the turn meter goes down. I want to see how much damage I didn't see it before. He did I think he did the uh what is that called? The 
bury the whatever it's called. Here we go, later rest. So we did 78k. That's not bad. We got to get his defense up. It's like, it's killing me. I want to see him start doing like three, 400,000 damage. I want to see it. And then this fight becomes way easier. Well, well, guys, I think we broke Fire Knight, by the way. <laughs> this is the free-to-play We Broke Fire Knight special. That's what this is. We are now able to beat Fire Knight without worry. Yukarl has changed the game for us again. He got us through Spider. So I guess, really, it's Sill, then Drex, Akoth, and now Yukarl. Like, those are the ones that really changed everything. Visix is helping here. I'm sure you could probably find someone who does what she does. I Actually, I'm kind of already thinking in my head a few rares that could do what she's doing right now. So she's not super important as far as anything that she does. I would probably pick someone else maybe. But she has a provoke, and that's good to get you through the wave. She's more of a wave help. That's it. She'll provoke the enemies, and that's it. You've got a freeze, a stun, and a provoke. You've got all the things you need to make sure no one attacks your team. Now I can go back and fight the other round that was 18 minutes long and get that time down. Not that I really care that much. I think this is 24, right? Because these are level 340 monsters, right? So 350 is the last one. I feel, I feel like this is 24. I should learn to pay attention more when I'm doing videos. Is is what this was what I'm saying. I should learn to do more to do more paying attention. I kind of float off like on these kinds of videos, I float off. Like I don't I don't talk as much and I kind of stay a little bit quieter. But yeah, it's it's definitely uh these are long fights. I mean, and we already know how it's going. More than likely we're gonna get to hard mode. You know, it's not like this is gonna be like it's not like there's any shock here. If we if we fail the next fight, I would be more shocked than if we don't fail it. Let's put it that way. Because it's going to be the same formula, just a different fight and a longer fight. That's it. They just have more HP, and that's it. It's funny, because I didn't have this in mind. Like I actually was I was just going to run around and do stuff. And I once again, I didn't really have Fire Knight in mind. But I was like, you know what? We really should start pushing these dungeons since it's been a while. And like I feel like we're strong enough to do a lot of these things. And here we are. Doing it again. Another another fun-filled vi video of me being like, all right, I guess we're going to get to hard mode now. Because <laughs> I don't care. That's the funny part. Like, It's cool that we're getting there, but I'm just like, you know, I'm not in any rush. So if, if we didn't get here, it's fine. Now, now I'm going to have to probably spend a little bit of time building heroes and doing more video heroes. Uh, vi more hero videos, sorry. Because we're going to have to spend time trying to come up with teams that can farm on hard. So... Because I don't want to farm hard if it's going to be slow. So it actually works out that I haven't been farming gear in the regular dungeons because now we can do it for the next one. So next. Technically, excuse me. Technically speaking. Wow, I really have the hiccups there. I was like, oh. Technically speaking, I feel like this just is my new team now. Because they do what my old team did. Like, I don't. I could just use this team for the older versions like stage 20 and stuff. So there's really no reason for me to use older teams now at this point. I already have the videos out for those dungeons of the heroes I used to get to where I am. So yeah, I feel at this point I could probably easily recreate whatever teams I used. It's just whether or not I remember what team I used. Like I can easily recreate them. I just don't remember them. So I'm going to have to have like an easy video, an easy version, and then a, a hard version. So this is the hard version. This is going to be a really long fight. These are all super defensive heroes. Very sucky. And Yakarl's getting strong, man. He's been doing some good damage. He's actually... Uh, his accuracy is higher now. Uh, he's got a lot more skills. Once he gets his skills in, like I get him max on his skills, ooh, He's going to be doing some really good damage and he's going to be freezing his way to victory as long as there's no Dark Alhane. I actually forgot that in the arena. And the first thing I did was I threw out a giant freeze and yeah, he, uh, Dark Alhane just hit my whole team. We still won, but I was just like, whoops, 
I probably should take her out real quick so that she doesn't do that freeze crap on my uh on my dude. It's kind of crazy how much they are managing this these waves. Like there's a lot of management going on right now. Stunning turn meter reduction, freezing, provoking. Like these guys literally are getting no turns. Like who needs turns? crazy but this is what happens when you start getting like more more evolved heroes like i'm kind of interested to see how akoth reacts with right with rian whatever the hell it's ryan i never freaking know um because she has she has skills that are in sync with him so that's kind of cool and then we've got dark kale i think dark kale is going to be the next one that really changes the account as far as like clan boss and maybe some other things cuz we can bring him in. I feel I don't remember what his skills are. I feel like he ignites poisons and stuff. He can he can activate them. So, there's definitely some stuff there that I can probably bring into clan boss. It looks like these fights aren't taking much longer. I mean, the last time it was the same thing. It was like a 3 minute Round, right? I think it was three minutes. Where are we at on time here? We are still under an hour, so that's not bad. As long as we keep this around 110. Like, I, I just don't want to make the video too long. I don't want to scare people off. <laughs> but if you're really interested to see this, like, you could literally just fast forward anyway. Because it's the same fight over and over again. So I'm okay with that. Like, if you're watching this whole video... And you decided to fast forward to the end, I'm okay. So I'm fine with that plan. <laughs> it really just depends on if you want to listen to me babble about what's going on when we all know what's going on. But it's cool because you got to see the transformation of the team from regular to auto. Because the first ones we had to do not auto. And now you got to see what an auto team is like and how you fix an auto team. So that's actually... As much as I, it might have been a, a little bit longer and somewhat more boring video than normal, like it's still you learning and kind of figuring out how you figure out how to do these things. Like once again, I didn't do this before. I don't. I have no idea. I've never beat these areas, so I didn't know what I needed to do. And then I was like, "Oh, the AI kind of works." I'm like, and I, as I'm watching it while I'm clicking it, I'm like, "What do I need to click to make this work?" So I need to click the A ones on basically everybody. So. Let's just get rid of anything that they don't need that I haven't been using. And then if there's any weird ones, like Apothecary is a little bit different because he has the speed up, which also makes you go faster, which is good because you want that speed. But downside is, is that shield is he needs to hit his A, like on that, he needs to use his A1 to get the shield down fast so that you don't get an attack. So really, I feel like the worst case scenario here is we get hit with one attack from before the shield. And then we're fine again. I feel like there's more than enough turn meter manipulation in this team where they sh shouldn't have a problem. This is like the turn meter manipulation like champion team. The only one in here who doesn't do turn meter manipulation is... What's his name? Apothecary. So if you brought another one in here... Yeah, you're good. But the good news here is that this is kind of like this just shows like this is the worst case scenario team. Like they're slow, but they get it done. So if you have heroes that can wipe these waves quicker and do turn meter manipulation, you could switch certain heroes out. Like Visix is not super necessary outside of the provokes. So if you have someone else who can do something better than her, then sure, bring them in. Um you have somebody who does like other things like stunning or whatever. It's still enough to keep them from not attacking. So don't worry about that. You can replace most of the heroes. Armager, you just need to build better if you're going to use him. Because like I said, mine's not super strong. He's good enough, but he's not like amazing. I'm kind of dreading Ice Golem because I know those fights are super long. And I just don't want to deal with it. I think the last one was what, 18 minutes, 12 minutes? I don't remember how long it took us, but... I'm going to have to really get Armager built up for that fight because there's no way I'm going to sit and keep fighting the ads in there. It'll just take forever.
and we'll get too much damage. So we're just going to block revive. I hate that when there's like that much health left. Look how much HP these for, for literally zero reason. There's no reason this guy needs this much health. Unkillable. All right. This is it. The final matchup. Is it enough is the question. Let's see the three hitter. That's what we wanted. We got the decreased term here just in time, maybe. All right. Good, good. All right, so it worked out. We need speed down. There we go. And now we're back in action. So it's a little scary. Like I said, at worst case scenario, I feel like you would just get it on the second run. And you would get one turn with him, and that's it. You get hit. Hopefully it's not strong enough to kill this team. I have no idea. I don't even remember what my speeds were on this team, to be honest. I know Apothecary is 250-something. I think Visix is maybe 180 or something. Yeah, Sill, I think, is at 200. I don't remember. I don't want to say the wrong stuff. I think most of them are the same as they were on the champion spotlights. Uh, yeah, Carl is like 200 to 212. I don't remember where I got him. I think he's around 212. And Armager's speed is atrocious, so you could easily just get his speed up, and Armager will be way better in this fight. Way better in this fight. Like, super better. Oh my god. I don't know what the reason is that these guys have so much HP. Like, I really don't know what the reason is. I wish I, I, wish I had an answer for you. It's really just because stupidity, that's why. Like, I think at this point, Polarium should know that no one, this, this Fire Knight isn't taking a turn. He, they know it because there's a quest in the freaking clan that says beat the freaking Fire Knight without it getting a turn. So we know that this guy doesn't get any turns. So why does he have so much health? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Polarium just doesn't respect our time, which is why I don't respect their events. <laughs> I don't respect their events or their faction or their uh, um, tournaments. Like, screw your tournaments and your fusions. I don't really care about all that stuff. Start respecting our time and I'll start caring about them. How's that? that? That's my deal with them for now. If they start respecting our time, I will start doing more events and tournaments. Until then, nope. But I also don't have to farm. This is nice. I'll just keep teaching you guys how to beat stuff without spending money. That's the best way to do it. I think that's our best, that's our best option, right? No one's going to follow me that much because there's going to be enough people. There'll be enough people that want to play like this, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who just don't care and they'll just spend the money anyway. So that's why I don't get into big wars about it. I'm like, oh, pay to win, not pay to win. Okay. It doesn't matter. Do what you want. <laughs> it's your life. Have fun. If you want to spend your money on this game, go ahead. I just can't spend money on this game because one, that's part of the channel. And two, I just don't feel that they deserve our money. That's why. But that's me. But I will say this game is damn fun free to play. <laughs> After all that. Damn fun free to play. They are doing a great job for the free-to-play players, to be honest. You, apparently, you can get a bunch... Of, watch. After all this is said and done, and we beat everything, and we're, we're like all done with free-to-play, and you know we did it without summoning anything and all that, all of a sudden, they'll take some of the summons out. Like They'll they'll remove like Sill from the login and do like some real shady stuff. Honestly, if they remove Sill from the uh, login, I feel like a lot of people would rage. <laughs> That's like, they're like, wait, Sill is gone now forever for all new players. I'd be like, what? They've gone, they've gone insane. The funny thing is about this game, it's it's more about having a group of a group of heroes anyway. So it's not really about one hero, which is why it doesn't matter who they give you. They could give you they could give everybody nut. And it still wouldn't matter because if you have the wrong composition, a lot of times it won't work. Now he might be a little bit of a an, an exaggeration just because I know he can one shot bosses, but I'm just saying in general, you could literally give everybody one hero and it's not going to change too much of the dynamic. 
I mean, everybody uses the same freaking heroes in Arena anyway, right? What's the difference if you, everyone gets another hero? I almost feel like Arena is a dungeon at this point. Like, you fight the same freaking four heroes every single fight. It's just like this dungeon. That's not bad. Wow. 12 minutes on this, huh? Considering the other one took 18 for the original, that's not bad. I'll take a 12-minute run on this. I mean, I won't farm it, but I can take it. There we go. Stage 25. In the book. Stage selection. All right, so we've got 11 minutes, 9 minutes. So this was a quicker one. 10 minutes, well, 11 minutes, and then 12. So that's not bad. We can easily go back here, and I feel like we could go back here and redo these. We'll do that another time. But let's go look at hard mode, because this will be our first time going in here. But now this is for freeze. So turn meter manipulation, I feel like, actually hurts me here, right? Attacks all enemies, destroys max HP. So we need somebody who can heal max HP, the max HP loss. Debuff for three turns, starts the battle with a divine shield while active, shield reduces. I don't know if we really have time to go into this, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. Just, I, I just want to see what it looks like anyway. I know we need a different set of heroes. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if I really want to spend nine. I don't know if I really want to spend another ten minutes doing this. We'll see. Let's see how fast they can get through this run. If it's like a minute or so, fine. But if it's like another... I don't want to turn this into another 10 minutes of uh, running through enemies. Yeah, because we're already almost at that 110 mark. Not like 110 is the end of the world. I just, like I said, I, I'd like to keep them in that hour range. I don't know if I really want to go too much into this. Looks like they're doing... They're making pretty short work of these... We already know that freeze is what we need on this guy. I think it was what? Freeze is what lowers his turn meter or something? I forgot. I just want to see the boss. That's all. That's all I care about. I don't give a crap if we get our ass handed to us. We're not breaking the shield anyway. I mean, it would be silly for me to not show you the boss after I spent this whole time getting here. I'm like, oh, we made it. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> like, you made it all the way to the end. Now let's uh, not show you the boss. So I, we got to at least look at him. We got to at least die to him once. Because that's what's going to happen. Is the stage any different? I didn't even notice. I don't even know if the stage looks different. I don't know. It looks the same to me, but then they all look the same to me. So I don't. I don't really know. It's, I feel like I feel like it's probably a little different. Maybe more embers, but who knows? All right. So two minutes. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. We're here. We're almost there. We're gonna die in three seconds when we get to the boss anyway, because we're never gonna get the shield down. He's gonna light our asses on fire. The most boring fights ever. <laughs> I mean, it is boring when you know there's no chance of you really dying. Like these guys just, they just get hit and that's it. We, they get frozen and we move on to the next hero. Say, look, stuns. It's the same nonsense every time. I don't know what, what video I want to make for later. I got to do. A, I'm thinking a hero, thinking a hero spotlight because I haven't done one in a while. Because I feel weird doing a hero spotlight on heroes I just built because I don't really have a spot for them. So it's got to be someone that I've used before that I at least understand a little bit.
At least I know this team's really good at doing debuffs. This is awesome. This is definitely an awesome team. I'm very happy with this team. They are basically tuned pretty well for speed as well. Really, the only thing this team would need would be either like a defense up to get the defense heroes doing more damage or something. I don't know. I haven't decided. Here we go. Let's get killed. Dirty hard mode shield boss. Now we're losing max HP. We didn't get the shield down in time. Look at that. All that to die. All right, so we're definitely going to need to bring in some more shield hitters. 15 is pretty high, though. That's a lot of attacks. So we got to get some heroes that have a lot more attacks. Smack. Look at that. That is some serious damage there, sir. I think I could beat this one. I would just have to bring in the right hero. That's all. This one doesn't seem that bad. Wow, he got two hits on that. All right. And he healed 1.6 million HP. Did you see that? <laughs> that was funny. All right, well, there we go. We're in hard mode on, on uh, Fire Knight. Who would have thought, right, that we have now beat... And we have it on auto, which is even better. So now I can auto this one. This is the only one... Actually, this one in Dragon I can auto. Um, Spider, I can't auto yet. I got to mess with that mess with that fight a little bit more. But there we go. We're, we're, we've got another one down in the books. And uh, Ice Golem is the only one left to get to hard mode on. And we're we're there. I'm excited. We're, we're, we're moving ahead. We're moving on up, baby. We're moving on up. No, I don't want your mini mix back. So there you go, guys. Getting to Fire Knight hard is, a, is totally doable with only summoning Mystery Shards. I know this is a long video, so I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, even though it was a little bit, you know, less more, less crazy than normal. This is more just getting through it. You could always turn the volume off and not listen to my nonsense. Um, if you want, I, I never have a problem with that, by the way. Like if you don't want any commentary, you just want to watch the fights, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for today. Uh, if you guys have anything you want to say, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everyone, you know, I'm always excited to have other people see the content and, you know, give me kind of, uh, any kind of any kind of feedback is always a good feedback for me because even if it's trash feedback, then I can be like, all right, so I'm I'm screwing this up. Like I already know that I twitch a lot and and sniff and I'm crazy, so I get it. But like, hey, that's my life. All right, so here we go. Fire Knight hard mode is in the books. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.